Do you know that 80 to 90% of world's data exists in unstructured formats? It's contained in PDFs, images, web pages, audio files, and more. That's where bulk of the data resides. But extracting this data from these unstructured formats, especially from the commonly found invoices, purchase orders, receipts, etc. in the business, has been a massive challenge. I've spent years wrestling with this problem, and now AI is finally transforming the landscape. With the agentic AI, we are making the next big leap in data extraction. So let's talk about agentic OCR. So we'll talk about four things today. What exactly is agentic OCR? How does agentic OCR work? A real world example of how we implemented agentic OCR for a customer. The challenges we still have with OCR, even with agentic. And finally, how this technology fundamentally changes data extraction. Let's start with what is agentic OCR. Before we dive into agentic OCR, let's understand how the current OCR approaches work. First, we have the traditional OCR, which relies on predefined rules and templates. This is good for basic extraction, but there are significant limitations. It struggles with anything outside its fixed set of templates. To overcome these limitations, AI-powered OCR that leverages machine learning to extract data came along. AI ML OCR significantly improved accuracy of extracting different formats, languages, and even handwriting. But this AI ML-powered OCR has its own challenges. It requires extensive training on your document formats, which is time-consuming and also expensive. And even after training it, it often misses fields, which requires human intervention to correct mistakes and retrain the model. This is where agentic OCR enters the picture. At, it, at its heart, Agentic OCR unleashes AI agents to extract data. I've broken down AI agents in depth before and I'll drop a link to the video in the description and here so that you can dig deeper. So how does Agentic OCR work? To understand how this works, let's look at an Agentic OCR setup. The system works through a team of specialized agents as shown here. We have a manager agent that reads the incoming documents, which is extracted from or read from a folder or an email. It understands the format, whether it's an invoice or a purchase order, etc., and delegates to the specialized extraction agent that handles that particular format. Now these extraction sub agents work by using the latest LLM models like Gemini, Flash 1.5 or 2, which is some of the best models for extraction. Now, once, once it extracts the data, it extracts the data in a JSON format and it also gives the confidence scores. So if the confidence scores are low, this is escalated or checked with an evaluator agent which actually uses another AI model to check the data. If the both the models agree, that's only when it's passed back to the manager agent if the confidence score is low. Now, if these two agents cannot agree on, in, uh, on this uh, data extraction, then it's escalated to a human. And then the manager agent, once it gets the extracted data, it what it does is it actually calls the application sub agent to put the data in the appropriate system like a CRM or an ERP. This application sub agent also generates a result file which is says whether it is a success or a failure. Now, the, based on the success or failure, the manager agent calls the communication agent, which sends an email with the result saying it's a success or failure and somebody needs to intervene. So that's how this agentic 
OCR works. And you can see this collaborative approach improves, improves the extraction process while reducing the human intervention. Now that we have seen how Agentic OCR works, let me walk you through a real world implementation we built for a customer. He needed a, to process invoices that was being put by a user in a folder directly into QuickBooks. Their workflow was straightforward. These invoices were put by the user as PDFs or images in a folder. And what our extractor agent did was it, it monitored this folder and processed these documents as they arrived. We were using the Google Gemini Flash 1.5 model to extract the data from these invoices and make them into a JSON format, uh, as you can see here. And now you can see in this case that we do not have the manager agent since uh, all, all this customer had was invoices at this point of time. And so we just skipped that and we, are, we went direct to an extractor agent. Now the extractor agent extracts this data into JSON format and then it's passed on into the next agent, which is the SQL agent. The SQL agent converts that extracted information into database queries. This was needed so that this database queries could be executed by an application, which would put the data into QuickBooks. Uh, which, as you know, QuickBooks is a popular accounting system. So as this agent, the QuickBooks agent, puts the data into uh, QuickBooks, it also generates a success or failure. And based on the success or failure, the, it's passed on to the communication agent who notifies the managers or the users about the successful processing or if there is any issues that they need to look into. So that was the design. I did not want to get into all details about the implementation, but I want to give you a quick peek into how we implemented this AI agent team. So to implement this, we used a custom platform for creating and configuring AI agents. This is a React front end with Python code at the back end. The platform allows us to configure the agents and we created these agents and then you can configure the properties for each of these agents. For example, we can co configure the model that we need to be using like we said Gemini Flash 1.5 and then we also set up the connectors for the AI agents. So for example, we enabled a Google bucket. This was the folder from which the extractor agent was picking up the files. And the most important part of these agents are the prompts. So let me show you the prompts. So here is the prompt for the extraction agent. So the key part that we're doing here is that we are asking the agent to extract the data from the invoice PDF and giving the content to this prompt and then asking it to generate it in a JSON format. So this is a bit of a redacted prompt, but has all the contents that you need to use it to extract data for your AI agents. Now, despite its advanced nature, agentic OCR has its own challenges. The deterministic nature of AI means that we had to carefully craft and refine our prompts that I just showed you over time. Getting these prompts right took experimentations, but the results surely were worth it. Secondly, for higher end extraction, we need the best models out there and they're only available through the cloud. This could be a problem for few of the people who want to use local models because of privacy concerns. And finally, though we have reduced the need for human oversight, we have not completely eliminated. There is still occasional escalations when agents can't confidently extract data or disagree on formats like we saw. But beyond these challenges, agentic OCR fundamentally transforms data extraction in several ways. First, it moves us away from the format-specific machine learning models towards more general-purpose AI 
that can handle virtually any document type without extensive retraining. Second, it makes the entire process nearly invisible. You simply place the documents in a folder and the data appears in your business systems unless there are any issues. Third, it reduces the cost compared to the traditional OCR as well as the AI OCR. And most importantly, it frees your people from tedious repetitive tasks. Agentic OCR represents an exciting application of AI agents working together to solve complex business problems. We are continuing to develop and refine these approaches. If you are looking to do agentic OCR or build agentic teams for your own business, we did love to talk. Check out the links in the description below to connect with us. If you are interested about building AI agent teams like this, check out my previous video on building your first AI agent team. If you found this valuable, please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated on the latest in AI automation. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.